Hey guys, Jamin here, uh, bringing you a disassembly video on a Dell Inspiron N7010. I uh, will show you how to take off all the components, get into here piece by piece. Uh, so you'll see the hard drive, the RAM, the motherboard, you'll, you'll see the USB boards. Um, you, you'll see everything as we go into this. So if you're looking to take something out and you can't find a specific video on this, a disassembly video is pretty good. Uh, we'll have frequently asked questions in the description. Uh, we'll also have some related video links if you need them. Um, so check those out. It could save you some time. If you do need to leave a question, uh, leave it. We, we, we try to get back to you a couple times a day at least to help you through whatever you're, you're, you're dealing with with your computer. So uh, first things first, flip this thing over. Now we're going to start taking out some screws. Um, keep in mind, if you don't have this exact model, it may look different. Um, but not all models are online for disassembly videos. So this may just be the next best thing. But... Um, so we're gonna take off that panel first. You get your RAM right here. Your RAM is held in uh, the way it usually is by two spring-loaded arms. Uh, so push those arms apart and uh, the RAM should just pop up like that and then you just slide it out. Same thing with that other one, slides out. Uh, the hard drive here should be in a caddy. Looks like someone lost their caddy. Um, it will be screwed in, two screws here, two screws here. Unscrew those and the hard drive will slide out uh, to the right and then it comes up. Uh, now the caddy will still be attached to the hard drive, so undo these two screws on that side, these two on that side, and the caddy will come out, and, and you'll be left with your hard drive. So, uh, If you're looking to replace the hard drive or the RAM, and you want some more information about how to buy the correct ones, check out the video link in the description. It'll show you a little more of that. Battery is easy. Slide these two things apart. Battery slides out. Uh, and as far as your DVD drive, I believe... That should be this screw. Let's take this screw out. See if I'm right. Yep, so undo that screw and the DVD drive just comes right out. Uh, if you're looking to replace this part, it's model number GT32N. It'll give you that model number there. Uh, you can look that up to see about getting a replacement part. Now we're gonna go through the process of taking out all the screws. It looks like there's a ton of them in this model. Make sure you get all of them. Laptop repair is kind of annoying for many reasons, one of which being all the parts are pretty breakable. It's not like a desktop that's made of metal. So if you miss a screw, and uh, you don't know you missed a screw, and you try to force things apart, you'll break them. Because uh, you can definitely muscle them apart, but the idea is to get all the screws out so you don't have to break stuff. So um, go nice and slow, make sure you got them all out. It's worth double checking. As you can see, this is a lot easier using a magnetized screwdriver. Um, if you want, just leave your screwdriver on a magnet the night before you do this, just to get it magnetized. There are three screws underneath the hard drive, and we take those out. That's why we take those components out first. Oftentimes they hide things under there. Okay, another screw here. Lots of screws in this model. Now, uh, under the battery, there's one, two, three, four screws, and then there's one, two, three, four screws here that you can't see. So, again, a lot of screws in this model. Just going through, taking them all out. Alright, and then if you look here, um, where the DVD drive was, there's three screws under there. So, a lot of screws, and that's why you take off components that you can first, because there may be screws under them. Also, again, if you're not using the same model, check out under your rubber feet, oftentimes they'll hide screws under here. I'm pretty confident they didn't because of all the screws right near it, uh, but check out yours, make sure it didn't come out. Oh, I missed two screws here. So there's six screws under there. Oh my goodness. These old computers, they just put so many screws in them. Half the weight is screws. All right, so that bottom case is pretty much taken apart. Now, as far as your keyboard, there may be screws under, under your keyboard here. 
Um, I'm going to take my small flat pry tool. I'm going to go along the rim of this. If you look on yours, there'll be one, two, three, four clips, I believe, that this uh, keyboard is placed under. So we're just going to pop those out from under there like that. There you go. And then that's plugged in here. Um, I'll, I'll take it out first and then I'll show you how because it's, it's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in on that for you. All right, so I'm going to pop this pin up. Take that out. There you go. Again, if you're looking to get this part number, uh, it's listed as a CN-08 V BRT, you're going to want that middle number, the 8VBRT, that, that'll be your part number for Dell that you would order this on. Now this connector, the way that it was undone, you'll see more of these as we get deeper into the computer, so it's good to know. This is a ribbon cable connector that's pretty standard design. It's got a plastic clip that folds down to hold the ribbon cable in and pops up to release it. So we would pop it up, slide the ribbon cable out. And then I pop it back down. These are very breakable. They're very thin plastic. They're very hard to find replacements for these, if not impossible. And even if you do find a replacement, while you're installing it, there's a good chance you'll break it. Um, so very important not to break these. And without them, the ribbon cable is not secure and it could fall out, which you obviously don't want. So after we get the keyboard up, check it out. There are a ton more screws under here. So we'll go through this, take out more screws. Again, these old, old models, they love screwing everything down with a ton of screws. So zoom in out. Uh, you see there's a couple more ribbon cables over there. We're going to take them out the same way. Pop that up. Slide the ribbon out. Put it back down. Pop this one up. Slide it out. Put it down. Uh, pop this up. Slide it out. Put it down. All right. There's also some other connector here. I don't know what that's going to, uh, but it's also plugged in. So we're just gonna take our fingernails and uh, small, slowly get that out of there. Don't pull on the wire. I'm pulling on the actual port. Oh, and there's a screw hidden under there too. It's good to investigate everything, check everything out. You never know whether there's gonna be a screw and you really wanna get all of them. You don't wanna be muscling things up. So I think we've got a lot of screws here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna zoom out. We're going Go ahead and try to see if we can open this up now. Small flat little pry tool. Gonna put it in between the uh, base cover, I mean bottom case and the palm rest. Let me pop this out now. This may be slow going, it's an old model computer, so unless it's been opened up recently, it's pretty, pretty stuck on there. I'm pretty confident I got all the screws, yeah. So there's the underneath of your palm rest. Now if you notice here, there's your power button. So under this, that's your power board. You would take off these two screws, that would release your power board if you're placing that and that's what plugged into the motherboard. And here's your palm, uh, your touchpad rather. So this board right here, that's where you would use the, the double click feature. You've got two screws there, one in the middle, two screws here. Take that up um, and that would release this board. And then there'll probably be another couple screws underneath and this just pops right out uh, from the underneath for your touchpad. So that's your palm rest disassembly. This is the rest of the inside of the computer. And I'll zoom in on that for you. So this would be your motherboard, uh, and you got your speakers here, your uh, sub there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start taking components off. If you're looking for your CMOS battery, that's here. That's how you'd perform a BIOS reset of your computer. You'd pop that out, um, let it sit for a few minutes, and then pop it back in. So there's your CMOS battery. Uh, there's your Wi-Fi card. So we'll go at that, take that out of there. It's screwed in with we'll unplug your antenna wires. They're usually the black and white wires that just snap on. So 
There's your Wi-Fi card right there. Uh, now I'll start taking apart the motherboard. Uh, your fans over here. Peel that up from there. Uh, another screw is left over here for the fan, and that that's what was plugged into the motherboard earlier was your fan. So we'll pop that up now. There's your fan. If you're looking to clean this out, you just blow that out, vacuum that out. Uh, so now we'll unplug everything else from the motherboard that we can get at so we can take the motherboard up. This little board's plugged in here, same, same kind of connector. Move that over. So pop that connector up, slide the ribbon cable out, pop it back down. Uh, speakers are plugged in here, kind of the same way your fan was. So use your fingernails, pull that out. Uh, try to resist pulling on cords. Uh, try to always go for the connector. Same thing here, your sub is plugged in here, that's really tiny. One fingernail, one screwdriver. There you go. Alright, and then your LCD cable is plugged in right here. Same kind of connector as before, so I'll pop that up. Slide this out. Now this is a weird little thing, so the LCD cable is also screwed down there. On this model, so perhaps yours is the same. So we'll take that out. So it looks like most things are unplugged. We'll go ahead and start removing the screws now for our motherboard. Now there's another board here um, that is connected to your motherboard. So that's kind of the pain when taking the motherboard out. You don't want to break either board. So we'll show you how, how to do that in a second once we get all the screws done. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I got all the motherboard screws. Again, this board is attached to it, so I'm going to unscrew this board as well. Sometimes they don't come apart from each other very easily, so you have to end up taking them out together. Alright, I think I got everything. Let's check and see if it's loose. Now keep in mind that some of these ports are going to be wedged into these things, so to get that out first. So that comes off there. Slide this out there. Oh, something connecting it, probably your power jack. Unplug that. So there's your motherboard. The heat sink assembly is still attached to it. So if you're looking at getting at, at your CPU, unfortunately, you'd have to take the entire motherboard off and flip it over. There's no easy access to CPU. I hate when they make them like that. But we'll take off the uh, heat sink right here. These screws stay into it. So there's your heat sink assembly. If you're looking at how to fix this to clean it out, we have an overheating video, you can look that up. And there's your CPU. We'll take a flathead screwdriver, put it in this groove, spin it counterclockwise, and that releases your CPU. Keep in mind, uh, if you have an Intel CPU, you probably have to upgrade it or replace it with another Intel CPU. Uh, AMD and Intel won't, won't fit in the same port. So there's your uh, CPU. There's the motherboard. We're looking at that other board over here, so that's pretty much unscrewed. That can come out. There you go. And again, if you needed to take out your speakers, you could do that at this point. They're held on by some screws, possibly double-sided tape under it, so be careful. Uh, but you want to go at your LCD now. Uh, so we're going to undo the screws to the hinges. Two over here. Two over here. And I'll show you how to get into the LCD assembly. And then again, there's another USB board there that can come out. USB boards everywhere. So there's your bottom case. We'll put that off to the side. We're all done with that. This is your LCD assembly. So now we'll show you how to get in here if you're needing to 
get at your LCD. Now there are no screws, whew, dusty. There are no screws in here, so we're just gonna take our uh, metal pry tool and go around the bezel and pop it up from the, from the lid. You can see this one's already broken, so don't have to worry about that. There you go, there's your bezel. Hopefully yours wasn't already broken. I didn't do that, it was already broken, just so you know. All right, there's your LCD. So to get your LCD out, uh, unfortunately it is screwed to your hinges in, in these older models. So we're going to unscrew, you got two screws on top of the hinges, three, four screws on the bottom. So you're gonna have to take out the whole hinge assembly to get at this LCD. The newer computers aren't so much like that. Oftentimes the LCD will screw in separately so you can get it out without taking the hinges off, but these older ones, unfortunately, screw everything to the hinge. Screw those. The antenna is screwed down. Again, old old models, they screw everything down. All right, let's try to get this thing up. There we go. So we're gonna spin this around so you can see what's going on underneath. Okay, so. This is how they're usually connected right here, the LCD cable. I'll zoom in on that. So we don't want to break these. They're very breakable. It's held down by tape. I'm going to take my flathead, get that tape up, first of all. Nice and slow. Okay. So these are notorious for pulling on this cable. Oh, I'm sorry. These are notorious when you pull on this cable. It, it breaks this um, and, it, and it comes off. So what we want to do is take our flathead and there's a gold colored port and there's a gold colored uh, connector that's plugged into it. We want to push off on each corner of, of the connector, a little at a time, so we can get that out of the, of the, of the port. Ooh, this is stuck on too. There we go. And it comes off like that. So hopefully you don't break that when you're taking it off. Also, the LCD cable also runs down here to plug into your uh, webcam, if you need to take that off. And that's basically your full disassembly. Uh, you would take off the LCD from the hinges by these two screws, or these three screws on this side, uh, four screws on this side, and that would release your LCD from your hinge. So there's your full disassembly of an N7010. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll get back to you help you out. And uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. Thank you for watching.